Safi mtazamaji inaonekana mambo yanaendelea kuwa magumu kabisa kule mlima Kenya lakini kama hiyo itoshi wameonekana kukata tamaa na kukosa imani kwa serikali ya William Samoe Ruto kwa sababu sasa hivi tunavyozungumza ni miezi kama sita hivi lakini hawajaona mabadiliko yoyote lakini hii hapa by the way imekuwa ikishangaza watu wengi sana ni kwa sababu gani uh, labda mlima Kenya ndo wamekuwa wakilia zaidi kuliko hata sehemu zingine tofauti tofauti lakini hiyo uh, ni kutokana na ukame ambao umeupiga kabisa uh, sehemu hiyo uh, ya mlima Kenya lakini pia ni sehemu tu kwamba wao watalicha uh, ya viongozi wao kupewa nafasi za kwanza kwanza kwenye serikali kupewa kazi na mambo kama hayo bado maisha haijabadilika bado watu wanakufa njaa bado ukame unaendelea kuwanyorosha kweli kweli na watu wengine wanahisi kama <laughs> ni laana lakini i don't know Mwenyezi Mungu ndo anajua ni kwa sababu gani wao ndo wananungunika zaidi hata baada ya serikali kuonekana kuwa upande wao zaidi na zaidi sasa hivi ujumbe ambao wanataka ufikie kabisa serikali uh, ikiongozwa na William Samoei Ruto na kijana wao ambaye ni Brigadi Gashagwa ni kwamba wamechoka na fertilizer hawataki story uh, za fertilizer sasa hivi kitu ambacho wanahitaji zaidi ni chakula kumbuka kwamba sasa hivi watoto wanafunzi watu wanarudi shuleni watu wanahitaji chakula mwisho wa siku kuna shughuli ambazo kwa kweli hazizi zikaendelea bila chakula na mambo kama hayo lakini pia serikali on the other side wanazidi kusema kwamba tupeni muda tupeni muda wakulima ndo hao walifanya kazi yao tunasubiri kufanya nini uh, kutoa shambani alafu baadaye ndo mtapata chakula cha kutosha kitu ambacho hawajaamini kabisa wanawasema hiyo ni njia moja wapo ya kutoka kwenye point ambayo inazungumzwa na point ambayo inazungumzwa hapa ni chakula hatuna chakula tuleteni chakula tumechoka kungojea wakulima wenu ambao sasa hivi ni miezi sita zimepita. Kwenye screen yako taarifa inasomeka hivi, residents are now asking President William Ruto and their own regarding the shower to move with speed and address the dire food situation in the region. Speaking on the matter, Mayor MP Nefat Muriki asked the Kenya Kwanza government to urgently supply food stuff and water and forget about the so-called fertilizer which Ruto's government has been distributing to farmers saying people cannot eat fertilizer you understand so wao tayari wameshachoka unajua mtu huaga na choka watu huaga wanachoka especially wakikuta kwamba kitu ambacho unawaambia bwana hakikuji hakionekani sasa hivi ni miezi sita zinaenda jamani kama mlisema kwamba wao oh, wakulima na nini vipi kuna kipindi hapa nyuma kilionekana kama eh, wakulima sijui ndo tunatoa sijui tungoje kidogo na nini Unaona eh? So ikawa sasa oh tunatoa tumetoa fertilizers, hiyo machifu ameanza kuregister wakulima but trust me. Watu wanaendelea kulala njaa. Watu wanaendelea kuteseka ndio hiyo school fees inakungojea hapo. Sio kama unanielewa mtazamaji wangu. So inafika point wanachoka wanasema no, amwezi mkao mnajitetea na fertilizer kila siku. No, mtutafutie mbinu nyingine tena. Kama wakulima wanaendelea kulima, at least tukategemea kitu kimoja. And by the way it's very risky. Sisi kwamba wana uhakika kwamba eti wakulima sasa wakitoa shambani eti kutakuwa na chakula yani yani chakula kwa wingi yani chakula nyingi yani tuseme yani sasa yani ipo kwa sababu sasa tunaongojea wakulima yani hauko 100% sure so serikali kama itakai eti inangojea sasa wakulima watoe shambani then yani ni kama ku risk yani ushai ku bet sasa unaongojea ikuje ivane kabisa ndio upate hela ununue vitu vyako So ndo namna ambavyo serikali ya William Samoe Ruto inavyofanya kazi. Hauwezi ukawa una, una target kitu kimoja ambacho we not even sure of. Sasa nikuulize fertilizer watu wamepewa. The same same time unasikia watu hawa 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 watu ambao wamepewa fertilizer wanalia kwamba ukame umepiga kule hakuna hakuna mvua. Fertilizer zilipeanwa 6 months ago. So eh, itafanyaje kazi? Awachimbi boreholes pale hakuna maji irrigation haipo so you are like okay tunaelekea wapi na wao wenyewe wameshachoka wanasema a ah sisi bwana issue ya fertilizer sisi hatutategemea sio kila mtu ni mkulima <laughs> sio kila mtu ni nini ni mkulima now a similar call was made by a resident who noted that the drought has hit them so hard they should be provided with food urgently they lamented that some of their children were not going to school due to hunger Some of our children cannot learn without food. 
They are staying at home. A school feeding program should be started as soon as possible so that the education of our children is not disrupted, Mrs. Margaret Wanja, a resident, said. You understand, eh? So, apa, hakuna uongo ambao uko hapa. Trust me. Kama wewe unaweza kukula hata mara mbili kwa siku, then una bahati sana. Yaani kama uko Kenya unaweza kukula mara mbili kwa siku, then wewe una bahati sana. Trust me, kitu ambacho unakiona sasa hivi kwa macho yako, si tu kwamba ni utani, ni news, ni nani no. Yaani ni reality ambayo ipo kabisa. Sasa hivi watu wanatakiwa kurudisha watoto shule. Hakuna school fee. Mtoto mwenyewe yuko njaa. Hapo hapo mtoto aweze akaperform. Atasikilizaje hata mwalimu darasani? Mwalimu mwenyewe ni mzazi kama wazazi wengine. Yeye mwenyewe anapata hata nguvu kufundisha wapi? Niambieni. Kwa sababu situation inapiga kila mtu kuanzia mwalimu mpaka kwenye mwanafunzi, mpaka kwenye watchman pale kwa gate. Vitu havizi vikasonga. And that's the reason why wanasema kwamba no, we need food urgently. Tunataka chakula urgently. Sio issue ya fertilizer fertilizer. Mnashinda mkitwambia fertilizer fertilizer. No. Tunahitaji nini? Chakula. Issue kwenye shule. Feeding program. Sio kila shule ina feeding, feeding program. Labda hizi private. Watu ambao wampeleka watoto kwenye shule binafsi. Au ndo wanaweza waka labda usabu wanalipa hela. So hela ambazo zinalipa pale kuna zingine ambazo zina uh, kuwa uh, ya chakula. E, heri wao kwa sababu wao watoto wao angalau wanapata kitu chakula. Lakini but asilimia kubwa ya watu wanapeleka watoto wao shule kwenye shule hizi za kawaida and shule za za serikali and shule za serikali they don't care whether mtoto amekula au hula wao wanafundisha wao wako kazi ma- maisha inaendelea so hapo ndo tatizo lilianzia mtazamaji wangu so mwisho siku nakuta ah, kawaida tu nakuta watoto wao perform private ndo zina zinapata zina, zina nafasi kubwa and serikali wanaela wanatakiwa hata kushughulikia watoto hata kama shule so free the feeding programs zinatakiwa kuwa free mtoto at least anafanya anafanya nani anafanya hata mtihani au tusema anasoma lakini yupo fresh kabisa kwenye kichwa anajua tumbo fresh na nini maisha inaendelea eh hey, njam ni mbaya sana njaa yani hakuna kitu kibaya kama njaa and wataendelea kwa na mimi nitaendelea kuambia serikali it's not all about fertilizer so kila mtu ni mkulima now speaking while distributing maize flour uh, to 4000 families in Isiolo over the weekend Dulo say there was a need to co- uh, continuously provide food to ensure no one dies of hunger. Shichire Ruto over the nationwide tree planting drive saying though important priority should have been on cushioning hungry Kenyans and ensuring no citizen starves to death. The situation is very bad. You cannot plant trees when people are dying. We should plant trees while taking care of hungry Kenyans. The government must up its game and ensure no life is lost. She noted hapo tayari kuna point nzuri kabisa ambao wewe mwenyewe unatakiwa kuangalia. In short kitu ambacho anajaribu kufanya hapa au kusema hapa huyu hapa nadhani ni miongoni mwa viongozi ambao wanatokea kule Isiolo ni kwamba atweze haiwezi at, kawa yani tunafocus kwenye vitu vingine ambavyo havimgusi mwananchi directly. Yes ni muhimu lakini havijamgusa mwananchi directly or atweze tukawa tunaweka focus kwenye vitu ambavyo Atuvihitaji kwa sasa hivi tunavyozungumza. Wewe nikikuuliza sema hapo upo sasa hivi ni nini unahitaji urgently? Kama sio chakula, tuongee ukweli. Kwa wale ambao sasa hivi wanalala njaa, urgently kitu ambacho unahitaji hata wachana na pesa, unahitaji chakula sasa hivi kwanza. Yaenda hata kule akai chini aanze kufikiria okay, ni chakula he, what next? Ndio hata akili inafanya kazi. Tafikia kazi au tafikia chakula? Endangalia serikali ya Kenya kwanza serikali ya William Samoei Ruto wana focus na kitu gani hapa huyu anawaambia vizuri sana Ruto wameshinda wameimba wimbo wa tupandeni miti okay na wana uwezo mpaka kuleta hizo nani hizo seedlings so you are like badala ya kutupea seedlings tupande nani mti eti sasa ndo inaleta italeta mvua kwa nini msifocus kwanza kwenye kuwapea chakula wananchi kwanza Any sacrifice a ah, ah, watu wetu lazima wakule kwanza ndo mambo mengine yatafuata issues ya affordable houses ya affordable okay hata kwenye issues ya affordable house nani anataka affordable house sasa hivi utaangalia kula uta, utaangalia affordable house yani hiyo nyumba bora bado italipwa tu I, affordable italipwa tu hata kama ni 1500 italipwa utailipa hiyo nyumba wewe umeenda umeenda kibera mako yole au ana korogocho au dandoro ukaambiwa kwamba kuna manyumba eti watu sasa hivi wamekosa manyumba na hakuna mtu ambaye amekosa nyumba. 
mtu anaenda kwenye nyumba ambayo unaweza kalipa whether ni shilingi 1500 2000 hivyo hivyo kila mtu anaenda sema ambapo anaweza kalipa si ni hivyo so they need food yani kitu yani kitu kikubwa nakwambia mimi mimi huaga naenda hata soko sometimes kununua hata ni nyanya sasa hivi nyanya bei yake imepanda unaambiwa nyanya ya shilingi kumi unashindwa ai 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 vipi nyanya shilingi kumi 20 bob unakuta nyanya moja 20 bob trust me sio 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 it's not a joking matter by the way ni issue ambayo ni very very serious so rice badala ya kufocus kwenye kuku ndio ku plant miti alivyosema huyu jamaa miti ni muhimu watu jakataa lakini watu hawahitaji miti sasa hivi for now okay najua wanahitaji long term sasa long term na watu wanakufa long term na watu wanakufa afia rais nani kakwambia lakini eti vitu ambavyo tunavitarajia kutoka shambani vitakuwa sawa yani vitatutosha who said that sasa hivi serikali imeweka focus yake kwenye kumpigana na sio huru Kenya hata sio security sio na nini hivyo ndivyo vitu ambavyo hatufai kuviangalia vitu kama hivyo tu focus kwenye wananchi wanahitaji kitu gani sasa hivi ndio maisha iendelee lakini kama tutaendelea ku focus na vitu ambavyo havitusaidii So unataka kuniambia mwisho siku tutafanyaje? Watu hawataki fertilizer, watu wanataka chakula. It's very simple. Lakini ukisema oh wewe ni mbaya, oh upendi serikali, oh au amheshimu rais, oh ah ah. Wewe endelea tu kuheshimu rais lakini ujui watu wengine wanakufa kule wanataka chakula. Hawataki hawataki fertilizer, wanataka chakula. Umeona sio kila mtu ni mkulima na nasemaga hivyo na nitarudia. Mimi hapa nilipo so, mimi sio mkulima. Ndio nategemea wakulima lakini mimi sio mkulima so wao wa support, wa, wa, I mean, wa support wakulima wanaendelea kufanya kazi yao sisi ambao watulimi ehe sisi nao tuna survive vipi so inabidi ya focus kwenye issue ambayo kwanza itatuangalia sisi kama wananchi kwanza sasa hivi achana na mambo mengi achana na mambo na Raila sio na kufuatilia Raila sio amefanya nini sije oo mambo mengi tu ambayo hayaeleweki ya, achana na Raila apigania tete watu wake ambao ni wananchi We kama rais tetea wa, wananchi wako kwa kuwapea chakula sio wajua kitu kibaya zaidi ni namna ambavyo wanaendelea ku promise Ruto oh, after six months oh, watu wanakusaga imani unapoendelea ku promise watu wanakusaga imani sasa hivi unatakiwa kuweka kazi ionekane kwamba ah, ndo hivi hii mwezi huu tumefanya hivi na hivi na hivi hapo watu watakuwa sawa lakini tukiendelea oh, sijui oh, security ya na, na, ya Ruto ya, ya sio uhuru tutoe Oh, sijui tu tushike tu, 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 MCS wa Raila o oh, wacheni ku focus kwenye vitu ambavyo havitusaidii focus kwenye kitu ambacho kitatusaidia nao mimi nataka ni kuprove hii point ya William Samuel Ruto kusema tunangojea wakulima kwa sababu ndio si anasema kwamba tungojea wakulima eh ndio toy pale ndio chakula itakuwa okay na swali Ruto mwenyewe amepata nafasi wakati ambapo shida hii tunayo In fact yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anajua kwamba tuna shida ya chakula. Gharama ya maisha ilikuwa imepanda. Yeye mwenyewe anajua, anajua. So kwa akili yake na namna ambavyo alikuwa anaambia watu ilikuwa ni akiingia, ye ana mbinu ya kubadili, ya kubadilisha. Ni kama tu mtu ana gari, afu anajua gari yenyewe hai, haiko vizuri, you understand? So akishika ile gari anajua, anajua kabisa mekanika ambao akimpelekea hiyo gari itafanya vizuri ambao dereva ambao alikuwa nayo sasa hivi bado hajui au hakuwa anajua. So yeye si akapewa gari ambayo ni inchi. So badala ya kutupelekea au kutumia formula yake ambayo ingetupea suluhisho, baada endelea kutuahidi, kutuahidi, kutuahidi. Gari ni mbovu ujue na tulitaka mtu ambaye anatutengenezea nini? Gari. Wanipata eh? So inabidi mwisho siku atutafutie namna ambavyo gari litatengenezwa. Same tu Same tu kwa familia. Baba alikuwa anasema oh nikipata nafasi watoto wangu mtakula vizuri na nini na nini. Okay baba ashapata nafasi. Bado watoto wanateseka teseka tu hivyo hivyo. Yaani hakuna mabadiliko. <laughs> na nani aliambia Ruto wakati ambapo huru walikuwa wakulima hawako wanalima. Na anatakiwa kujiuliza hivyo. Wakulima bado walikuwa wanalima. So anatakiwa kujua kwamba hii bado inaweza ikapiga wall na ikakosa kukusaidia. Kuongojea hao wakulima inaweza bado ikapiga wall kwa sababu hata uhuru wakiwa hata kibaki hata kiwa moi. 
wakulima walikuwa na walikuwa wanapanda, walikuwa wanavuna, walikuwa wanapeleka kwenye industries, walikuwa wana ibado process ilikuwa ni hiyo hiyo. Hakuna kitu kipi anafanya. Yaani kama kupunguza manyiwa, kupunguza kupunguza manyiwa imaanishi kwamba sasa mazao yatakuwa sawa. Mazao na manyiwa ni tofauti. Trust me kwa sababu aujui hali ya hewa itakuwaje? Aujui mkulima mwenyewe na yeye shamba lake linatoshanaje? So mkulima ni mkulima tu, manyiwa ni manyiwa tu, hali ya anga itakuwa hali ya anga. Uwezo ukajua ni matokeo gani mkulima atakuletea. Auwezo ukajua. Si wakulima walikuwa na so, ama ni kitu kipi ya. So ukulima na issue ya fertilizer ni, ni kitu mpya kabisa eh. Ime, yani imekuwa introduced so inamaanisha ni kitu kipi ambacho kitafanya kazi. Ni kitu ambacho kimekuwa kwa muda mrefu sana. But sasa rais wali ni je, wewe uko sure kabisa hii itafanya kazi? Jiulize in case haijafanya ha, kazi kwa sababu sasa hivi wanaanza kuchoka watu ambao waliwapea fertilizer. Familia wana watu wala njaa. Itafanya au haitafanya? It's very simple. Maoni yako ni gani mtazamaji wangu? Tupia hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments na subscribe kama hauja subscribe that's kama wewe ni mgeni. Lakini pia shukran kwa wote ambao wanaendelea kunisupport na shukran pia kwa wote ambao wamesha subscribe. Bwana mimi sina kikubwa cha kualipa lakini kuhakikisha kwamba hizi taarifa mnaendelea kuzipata kwa muda ambao unatakikana. Kwa wale ambao wanajiuliza wanaweza kali support vipi na barua yangu mara nyingi na pia napo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments. Chochote ambacho utafikisha bwana mimi nitashukuru sana. Tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata. Bye bye.